What's up, folks? Hey, man, uh, just want to talk about my man Floyd Money and uh, and Andre Ward, man. I mean, this has been going on for a long time now. Floyd claims that he respects Andre Ward. He respects his gifts as a fighter and all of this stuff. But at the end of the day, Floyd is always going to be a competitor. He sort of uh, reminds me of uh, Michael Jordan, man. I mean, Michael Jordan started bigging up people after he, kind of after he retired. You know, uh, <clears throat> he he uh, he started doing a little more, doing a, a few more interviews after that, and. You know, bigging, bigging up people like Kobe, bigging up all of these other young guys that were coming into the league. He, but people that he feel is a threat to his success, he's going to be the competitor that he was on the court. And that's what Floyd Mayweather reminds me. He reminds me of Michael Jordan in that sense. Michael Jordan is not going to give credit to people that is threatening his success or threatening his legacy. And the reason why he gave Kobe a lot of respect is because he knows that Kobe played the exact same way that he did, um, utilizing his moves, utilizing moves to get space on the court so he can drop the jumper, using the turnaround jumper, you know, using that step back and all of that stuff. <clears throat> So he saw a lot of himself in Kobe Bryant. But guys like LeBron, who has said that he wanted to come into the league and and uh, be the best to ever play, um, said that he wanted to be, you know, basically internationally known. Uh, I, I think that, you know, I think that Mike took that as a sign of... Uh, just basically just a sign of, of LeBron threatening his success. And that's what I get from it. And it's the same with Floyd when it comes to Andre Ward. You have a young guy in there that has accomplished a lot in the sport of boxing. He's accomplished a lot, man. He um, is also undefeated. He has also moved up in weight and challenged the best and beat the best. And that that is reason for somebody like Floyd to say or not basically to not say that this guy is one of the greatest of all time, if not the greatest right now, because he's no longer in the sport. He's no longer boxing and he doesn't want to give uh, credence to that. <clears throat> so that's why you're getting this backlash from him. That's why you're going to get that same backlash from his father because his father is not going to come out and say, oh, well, Virgil Hunter is better than me. I feel that Vir Virgil Hunter has done an awesome job with Andre Ward, and I feel that he is, if not the best trainer in the business. He's not going to come out and say anything like that because his son is the top boxer, or shall I say was now that he's no longer in the fight game as far as boxing. But, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's sad, man. It's sad to see that jealousy that's there. I love Floyd Mayweather. I'm a big fan of Floyd. Been watching Floyd for a long time. Since around 90, since around 96, when he came into the boxing game, I was watching Floyd box. And um, I like the way that guy goes in there and takes care of business. A lot of people don't respect that he's not going in there sleeping people every time he gets in the ring as if that happens in every other fight. So they not they don't really respect his ability to go in there and fight, <clears throat> if you want to call it that. I respect the science of the game. I respect the ability of being able to hit and not get hit. I respect uh, being able to be on your toes. I respect being able to, to 
throw shots from different angles, to land a jab precisely. Those are things that I like. Jabs, crosses, hooks, uppercuts, whatever. The guy can do it all in the ring. He can go toe-to-toe. He can move. He can brawl if, if necessary. All of those things. But if you don't have to get in there and do that type of stuff and you can go ahead and dispatch a guy with this punch or that punch, then why are you going to switch it up and do something different and possibly get your block knocked off? But that's a whole nother topic. I'm not respecting the fact that you can't give another guy respect for going in there doing what you've done. He, he might not have been able to do it on the level of making all of this money. And that's due to just him being who he is as a person. Maybe his religious beliefs or whatever the case may be is not garnering a lot of corporate money. You know, a lot of people don't want to invest in that. So he doesn't have the same success in his career that Floyd has had financially. But when you start talking boxing, that's a whole nother topic.